This is the brilliantly entitled Linson 45 Grand Sturdy Intero. Now this is your classic steel built, Dutch built inland cruiser and uh, coastal or offshore boat. It is the sort of boat that you come down to and you disappear off on for a week, a month, a year, your entire retirement whatever you want to do. It's just the perfect boat for just escaping on. So we're going to step on board and give you the full tour. I think this is the first Dutch steel cruiser that we've had on Aquaholic. So an interesting one to have a look at. But as I say, the whole concept of these is all about living on board and relaxing and spending some serious time doing some boating. So we're going to head on here. It's an aft cabin boat. So we've actually, as you may have noticed, stepped up onto this aft deck. We've got the full canopy here. And this has got the rolled up section here and here, so we've got plenty of ventilation through here. You can actually take these sections right out if you just want a bimini top. And then seating around the back, there's a center section of the table that comes up to make that into a big dining table. And your helm up here. Now these are not fast boats, very deliberately. You're looking at top speed on these, about nine knots. Uh, the sort of thing you just cruise down the canals or the inland waterways forever on. And in fact, one thing I'm going to do, which I don't normally do, but just because it is such a great demonstration of that, is start the engines. There's a pair of Volvo Penta D3 110s in here. But I want to do this because, let's put the ignition on, engine start. There we go. Can you hear that? No, probably not. It's super, super quiet. Um, and if I push the throttle only button, I can rev the engines just to give you an idea of the cruising revs. Watch the rev counters there. Sorry, I hope it's not in gear. <laughs> there we go. That is up to about 1500 RPM. That's the sort of speed you cruise at. We can take it a bit higher. Actually, no, we can't. That's as much as it will let us rev when it's not in gear. But you can probably hear, or more to the point, you probably can't hear, that that is virtually silent. It's such a relaxing boat to go cruising on for that reason. Let's drop that back and turn those off. So start, stop. Start, stop, ignition, ignition. And you might think, well, that's easy for someone to pinch, isn't it? But actually, it's a bit like a car where you have to have your key in your pocket before it will start. It's a similar sort of thing. You need to have the little transponder on you, otherwise it won't go. Um, bounce down thruster are here. Navigation is on here. This is actually, you can see it here, in fact, it's a Category B boat. That means it's an offshore boat. So although it is perfect for inland cruising, if you're in the UK and you want to take it to France, no problem whatsoever to take it across the channel. Obviously, it'd take longer than it would in a Sunseeker but no issue with going there whatsoever. I think what we'll do is take a turn around the decks and then head into the interior because this again is very typical of this style of boat in that it has nice wide side decks. You've got an opening section here and in fact you might have seen on the other side, I'll show you when we go around, how this flips right over to make a step to make it easy to get on and off. If we come right around here, there's a mast here. Now of course that will hinge and fold so if you're going under bridges it pivots right at the front there, drops flat. And if you come right up then, you've got electric anchor winch on the bow. And that's how she looks from here. Notice how it's got the opening windows in the front. So you get, again, plenty of air and light through into the cabin. And then if we come down this side, I'll show you that, um, that folding step, actually, because this is what it looks like in a down position. You can see this literally just hinges down there, goes all the way over. And that's the step that allowed us easy access. But it is the interior, I think, that is most impressive on these. So we'll head around this way now and drop into the cabin. And it is a drop down because it's an aft cabin boat. And they do make aft cockpit boats as well. In fact, they do a huge range of boats. Linson have been building boats for something like 70 years. They're a very, very established builder. But with this one, we step down here and we're into the saloon. So you've got this big saloon area here. There's a drawer fridge just down underneath there. And this is how she looks. Now there are various layout options with these. Um, Linton do quite a bit of customization. This one's laid out with storage across here and then a dining area at the front of this main deck. It's a high-low TV that just swings around and drops down. Um, in fact, with that, what you can do, I think I'm right in saying, yeah, there we go. You can pivot that. So if you were sat here, wanted to have the news on, we're having a bit of breakfast, then you could do. Uh, underneath here, this is mostly storage along here and boat brochures because we're at a boat show. Let's have a look in these and see if there's anything different. No, same sort of deal. Like so. As I say, lovely dining area just here and that's directly opposite 
the galley. What's nice about this is that the galley is just one step down from the saloon. So when you're stood here, making some lunch or cooking some dinner, you've obviously got your oven here and your sink and so on, then you're still very connected to these areas. Storage again about the place. So loads of that. And then we can head down forward into the guest areas. Switch panel is here. And if we go right to the front of the boat, you've got your fore cabin. Now this is not the owner's cabin, in fact, we'll come back to that shortly. This is a brand new boat, but it is actually a sold boat. Somebody owns this, so that's why they're asking people not to sit on the beds or the upholstery or whatever, because it is absolutely brand spanking. Ready to be handed over, but the owner's very kindly agreed for the dealer to exhibit it here. Uh, storage in there. I'm allowed to open drawers, fortunately. <laughs> I'd be twitching otherwise, wouldn't I? Um, hanging rails there. And so forth. So that's for your guests. What you also have in here is ensuite access to the day heads. So that's in there, like so. And that is the other door into there. The other thing that we find down here is if you're looking behind here, another cabin. So again, great size, a ton of headroom as you come into here, loads. And then storage, again, dotted around the place. So you've got shelving there, for example. And more storage down between the beds and so on. So that's a very nice cabin. And then on the other side of the boat, that was the day heads. And you might have thought, well, yeah, that's nice, but there's no shower. That's because that's separate. That's in here. Really good size. It comes back to what I was saying earlier about being such a livable boat. You know, you want to have home from home comfort on here because you might be on it for a long time. So to have the toilet separate to the shower means if somebody comes out of here and they're having a shower and somebody comes out of here and wants to use a loo, not a problem. So that's a really big area. And the other thing that we find in here is a washing machine. In fact, a washer dryer to be precise, which of course is particularly useful on a boat when you don't have a clothesline. And then the other thing that we find down on this forward lower deck is that if we lift this step, there's a massive storage area right back underneath here. And again, it's back to that, you know, weeks or months on board, you want to put stuff away like all your suitcases and whatnot. They can all go in there. So let's head on through because I mentioned this is an aft cabin and this is the piece de resistance of this style of boat. We go right to the stern drop down here and this is the owner cabin and what's great is this of course completely separate area of the boat because where we came down the forward area we were just in with the two guest cabins is right up that end I mean you're like about I don't know 25 30 feet away up there so in here you've got this nice little dressing area there's a TV in here as well you can walk all the way around this bed, which is very handy for getting in and out, but also very handy for making it. And again, stuff like that. It doesn't matter if you're having a weekend on the boat and you just sort of stuff something in to sleep on. If you're on this regularly and you're changing the bed re regularly, then that kind of thing suddenly becomes very important. And then over here, you'll notice there are two doors over on the port side. If we go back and open this one, that is your toilet and your sink and your shower, so the shower is in a separate area, like so. And if we move forward, this door is, it's like a walk-in wardrobe, basically. In fact, it's not like a walk-in wardrobe, but it is a walk-in wardrobe, because your hanging rail is there, and you can come right into here, and you can see you've got all your storage areas. Down through here, you've got shelves here. So all of your stuff, and again, I know I keep saying it, but you want to spend six months on the boat, that kind of thing, it can often make or break the experience. Just to be able to have everything where you can get at it and everything put away, absolutely perfect. But that is a big, let's close that a minute. That is a big, square, proper 
bedroom with a load of storage and really nice facilities. Very, very comfortable. Okay, the only thing we haven't seen then is the engines. So, I'm going to show you those. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple of things. First of all, the engines. Slide that across there because they are underneath here. Now, this boat, as I mentioned, has got twin engines, and that's very handy if you're looking at doing some more offshore stuff, you're going across the channel, that kind of thing. You have that reassurance of having twin motors. However, they do do this with a single larger inboard engine, and if most of your cruising is inland, that probably makes a lot more sense because, firstly, it's only one engine to maintain. The performance is exactly the same because it's a spacefront boat. It won't go any faster than it's held a spacefront speed. And lastly, you can get in and right around the engine, whereas, of course, with twins, they're pushed a little more to the side. However, having said that, you can get right down into here, as you can see, and right around this way. That's the generator over there. But it is inevitable that you put two engines in an engine room. They're going to take up more space than one engine in an engine room. But the other thing I wanted to show you on this is the battery bank, because the battery bank is pretty impressive. If we go over here, we'll find it down this side. Look at this. Those are all batteries all the way along there. There's inverters on those, and those are for engine start. They are for your, all your domestics. They're for bow thruster, stern thruster, all that kind of stuff. You've just got a massive amount of power there. That's the inverter system, that blue box up there. And you can see all the switch gear down the back. And I think when you get into here, again, you start to realise the quality of these, of the engineering. I mean, they're proper solid boats. And look at the way that this is built down here. As I say, it is a steel construction. And you can see in behind the scenes just how beautifully put together this is. They are a genuinely lovely boat. Same back here, you can get to your filters, for example, all that kind of stuff. Gearboxes are on the back of the engines. She's a conventional shaft drive, you can see the shafts running out down there. But that's a nicely laid out engine space. That's really good. Okay, let's come back up. And we'll drop those down. There we go. And I think we'll finish back up on the aft deck. Over here, where we can see the boat show. So that's it, Linson 45 Grand Sturdy. Beautiful machine, hope you enjoyed that tour. Huge thanks to Boat Showrooms, they organized this tour for me. I'll put a link to those guys in the description and huge thanks as ever to you for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care, bye-bye.